It starts with a pop up window and then thousands of dollars or even tens of thousands of dollars gone. Multiple people in Kill Devil Hills are falling for these online scams. Ten on your sides, Nick Broadway joins us now to explain how they're using fear to drain bank accounts. Nick. Stephanie, in total, people in Kill Devil Hills lost roughly $62,000 to online scammers this year. They strike in a variety of ways, and police say they're very difficult to track. The best defense is awareness. Described as a large, alarming pop-up, telling an 80-year-old in Kill Devil Hills her computer has a virus. She called the number on screen, and they told her her identity was stolen. Then someone pretending to be with her bank called and asked she withdraw nearly $10,000 to buy several gift cards, then hand over the gift card codes. She never saw that money again. I feel embarrassed to have been tricked, uh, but so many people fall for it. Police released the scammer's phone number. When we called, it went straight to voicemail. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Captain John Taller tells us these scammers constantly change phone numbers. Online scams hitting Kill Devil Hills take many forms. Some are bogus sale posts on Facebook Marketplace. Others ask for Bitcoin deposits. Another 70-year-old woman lost $29,000 this year. We're not talking about the, uh, the Bill Gates and, uh, you right. know, uh, Jeff Bezos of the world. These are people that, uh, like you and I, would uh, can ill afford to lose, you know, several thousand dollars like that. Taller says anyone asking for payments via gift cards are probably not legitimate. The scammers mostly target elderly people, so he recommends younger relatives sit down with loved ones to talk about what to look out for. Just like uh, your parents uh, at one point had the birds and the bees conversation with you and it was a little uncomfortable, you need to have the little bit of uncomfortable conversation that say that there's, there's people out there that mean you harm, you know, grandma, grandpa, especially if it's a you know, senior. He recommends searching suspicious phone numbers online. There are databases that track down known scammers.